Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program must to accept the R cross C integer matrix as the input and for each row the program must print the integers having adjacent co primes and if the row does not have such integer means then we have to print minus 1 and what is a co prime is the two numbers are co primes where their longest that is their largest common factor is 1 and if the GCD of the num1 and num2 is equal to equal to 1 means then they are said to be co primes so first we are going to accept the R cross C integer matrix and for each row the program will print the integers having adjacent co primes. If the row does not have such integer then we are going to print minus 1. So what is a co prime means? The numbers are co primes where their largest common factor is 1. That is if GCD of num1 and num2 is equal to equal to 1 means they are called as co primes. So we will take our first test case. So in this case we have a 3 cos 6 matrix. So we will take the first row. So in this row we will have 2. So the only adjacent for 2 is 4. So 2 and 4 do not have the same common factor as 1. So we move to the next one that is 4. For 4 it is 4, 2 and 4, 6. So both do not have the common factor and for 6 it is 6 4 and 6 8 so they also do not have then for 8 it is 8 6 and 8 16 so they also do not have the GCD as 1 and for 16 it is 8 and 14 are the adjacent so they both also don't have the GCD as 1 and for 14 the adjacent is 16 so 14 16 has do not have GCD as 1 so will print minus 1 for this row and for 5 the adjacent is 6 so 5 and 6 the GCD is 1 so we'll print 5 and then we'll move to 6 for 6 the adjacent elements are 5 and 8 so first 6 and 5 the GCD is 1 so we'll have 6 and for 6 and 8 it is not 1 then for 8, it is 8, 6 and 8, 9. So the GCD of 8, 9 is 8. So we'll have 8. And then for 9, 8, we'll have 9. And then for 9, 15, it is not, GCD is not 1. And for 16 and 15, the GCD is 1. So we'll have this. And then for the next row, we have 5, 6, 7 and then we have so 5 and 6 the GCD is 1 and 6 and 5 the GCD is 1 and 7 and 6 the GCD is 1 so we'll stop here this will be our output now we'll take another test case so in this test case we have 4 cross 4 matrix so we'll consider 17 
सेवेंटी फोर एटी नाइन सो दैट जी सी डीज आर वन एंड इन द सेकेंड रो वी हैव माइनस वन सो एंड इन दर्ड रो वी हैव ओनली थर्टी सिक्स एंड एलेवन एंड इन द फोर्थ रो वी हैव सेवेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स फिफ्टी नाइन एंड थर्टी so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get our inputs number of rows and columns and then the matrix and for row in range r so now after getting the matrix We'll iterate over uh, each row and print the respective elements. So for row in range R, so we'll have variable flag equal to zero. This is for the minus one case, and uh, we'll iterate over the column for column in range C. So now we're going to check whether the adjacent elements are co-prime. So for that we have to import. the gcd from math so from math import gcd so gcd should be equal to 1 that's our condition so if the column is equal to equal to 0 and and we have gcd matrix of row column and a matrix of row column plus 1 is equal to equal to 1 and so if this condition satisfies then we are going to print the matrix row column and use in argument so the flag will also be changed to 1 and in the elif part The columns equal to equal to c minus one means, then also the GCD of the adjacent column is equal to equal to one means. Then the we have to print that matrix of row column and use a argument, and the flag will be changed to one. And if the column is greater than equal to one, and column less than equal to c minus one means that is also the g series equal to so the g c d of that adjacent element. Is equal to equal to one. So here it is equal to equal to one. So here it is column minus one, and there it is column plus one. So if this condition satisfies, then we are going to print the matrix of row column and use end argument, and flag will be changed to one. So finally, for that minus one case, if flag is equal to equal to zero, then we are going to print. Minus one less our output, and print new line. Here equal to will not come. Now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So yes, we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our second test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.